Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. Before we begin, make sure to download the free textures and gradient maps used in this video from the link in the description. First, place a simple logo or a shape that you want to apply the effect to. It should be created using only black and white colors. Next, duplicate the background layer and fill that new layer with gray. To do this, select the color gray from the top color panel, then click on the layer you want to fill. On a Mac, hold the Option key and press Delete. On Windows, hold the Alt key and press Delete. This will instantly fill the layer with the selected color. Now click the top layer, then hold the Shift key and click the bottom layer. This selects all layers together. On a Mac, press Command and the letter E to merge them. On Windows, press Control and the letter E. After that, right-click on the merged layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Next, we will start adding the effects. Go to the top menu, choose Filter, then Blur, and select Gaussian Blur. Apply just a small amount so that the edges look softer but not too blurry. Then go to the bottom right adjustment layer icon and choose Gradient Map. You can download the same gradient maps I used from the link in the description. Pick your favorite gradient and adjust the tones to match your style. Now add the texture you downloaded earlier. After placing it, go to Image, then Adjustments, and choose Black and White to make it monochrome. Change the blending mode of this texture to Linear Dodge Add. To adjust the brightness and contrast, open the Levels panel. On a Mac, press Command and the letter L. On Windows, press Control and the letter L. Move the sliders to control how bright or dark the texture appears. Next, add another texture layer. For this second texture, change the blending mode to Multiply. Then go to Image, Adjustments and Levels again to fine-tune the contrast and balance the look. By layering textures in this way, you will create a deeper and more realistic effect. It is looking great so far. From here, let us adjust the colors to your liking, add another gradient map adjustment layer, Choose any gradient you like, you can use the one you selected earlier or try a different one. You can also adjust the levels of the texture, or add hue and saturation to experiment with different color moods. Now the texture effect is complete. Next I will show you how to apply this same effect to text. Add your text below all of the texture layers. Right click on the text layer and convert it to a smart object. Then go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur again, and apply a slight blur. Now you can see the texture effect beautifully applied to your text. Try this method on your own logo or poster to create your own original texture style. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.